Hey guys, Michael here from fat to fit and you've already probably seen it from the title and the thumbnail but I thought it would be better to show you guys the reason for today's video rather than talking about it so here you go. So as you can see, I have some really, really bad sunburn, probably some of the worst I've ever had in my entire life and I'll give you guys a bit of background behind that and then getting into the actual topic of today's video. So for over the weekend, I hopped up to Queensland, uh, which is in the northern part of Australia just for a friend's birthday and decided to go to the beach, the Gold Coast on the Sunday. And of course, I spent the whole day there. I had heaps of fun, but also I got the sunburn. Now, the thing about my skin is that I'm quite fair skinned. And so I, even though I use sunscreen, I played it safe, I still got this massive burn on my back and on my chest and stomach as well, which you can see is pretty painful. And imagine a two hour flight with that on your back. It was not the most exciting thing in the world and sleep has been a nightmare for the past few days. But anyway, the whole reason I am doing a topic on this video, the whole reason I'm telling you about my sunburn is I want to kind of talk through what I do when this kind of thing happens in terms of the gym because obviously with a sunburn like that it's going to be very difficult to do a lot of exercises in the gym, to do a lot of things in the gym all together and I think it can apply to not only sunburn but any type of injury you have that's caused inside the gym or outside of the gym. So that was a bit of a long spiel but it's good to have a bit of background. So. What have I been doing? So it's been a few days now since I've had the sunburn and I didn't go to the gym over the weekend because I was away but as soon as I got back on Sunday I didn't go because I got back quite late at night but Monday yesterday I did go to the gym. It, luckily enough it was an off day so all I did was pretty much an hour of cardio at the gym. Now even that was not the best either because as I learned, sunburn and sweat do not easily mix, but if you have some kind of injury, often you can still get into the gym and do some form of cardio, whether it's walking on the treadmill, whether it's uh, on the bike, on the elliptical, anything like that. That's normally the best thing I recommend is not to break your routine from actually going to the gym because once you start stopping going to the gym because of injury or some other kind of reason. It just gets that much easier to not go the next day and the next day after that. And then before you know it, it's been weeks or months and you still haven't been in the gym at all, which is one of the worst things you can do. You wanna maintain your routine. In saying that, you do not wanna make things worse or put yourself through a lot of pain. So what you need to do is if you get back into the lifting with an injury or something like my sunbird, what I tend to do is take it quite slow. I know I'm not going to be able to lift the weights I was doing before I had the sunburn because it's just going to cause me too much pain. So just take it slow, maybe do a bit of a deload, maybe avoid the exercises that trigger whatever pain it is to do. Uh, with your injury. For example, I know my trigger exercises are most likely going to be back exercises, which I'm going to give a try out tonight to see how it makes me feel, but I'm going to not do as many back exercises or avoid certain back exercises if it causes me a lot of pain. Similarly with chest exercises, a lot of them are lying down, which will be lying down on my back. So I'm gonna to have to test the waters with those as well. It's all about making those little adjustments in the gym to make sure you're healing in the best possible way, but still enjoying your time in the gym and still trying to get things done. Like at the moment, I'm still doing my bit of a mini cut, so I wanna be in the gym, I wanna be doing cardio, I wanna be dropping the weight. So I don't wanna be staying at home for days and days on end trying to wait for my skin to heal. As you can see, it's quite a moderate sunburn. It can take up to a week to heal or like even the next few days to stop hurting completely and I don't wanna be sitting around waiting for that breaking my routine because I know it's just going to be harder and harder to get back into the gym. 
In saying all this, you really do need to take care of yourself as well at home when you're outside the gym. For example, my sunburn obviously involves quite a few lukewarm, lukewarm to cold showers, a lot of um, aloe vera gel on my back and just taking it easy and just trying to keep it as cool as possible. But somebody who has, say, a um, pulled muscle or some kind of other injury, that will involve a lot of rest, a lot of icing, a lot of heat packs, that kind of thing. Every single individual injury is different and each one needs to be treated in a different manner and it also varies from person to person as well. Of course my main recommendation is seeing a professional in regards to whatever your injury is. Something like sunburn, I don't need to go to the doctor or anything like that. I pretty much know how to manage it myself but if you pull a tendon or pull a muscle or whatever it is, seeing someone like a physio or a myotherapist would be the best thing. Just like if you break a bone, you go to the doctors, all these kinds of things have their specialties, have their own individual that is able to assess what is wrong with you and is able to tell you what is best to basically fix your problem if it can be fixed in the short term or the long term. Anyway, I'm going to stop blathering on because I tend to go off on these tangents sometimes as most of you guys probably do know. I'll keep you guys updated on the sunburn, hopefully it's gone over the next week or so. And anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.